Alrighty guys, today we're looking at the MagCube wall charger from Aohi. They did send this over to me to check out and show you guys. We have checked out the power bank and now I'm checking out a wall charger to, I guess, support the power bank or your MacBook Pro or your iPad, whatever you want. This is a great wall charger, small compact size, 140 watts. It is awesome. So anyway, let's hop into this unboxing and let's check it out. All right, let's unbox the MagCube power delivery, 140 watt charger. As you guys can see here, nice graphics on the box, nice and small and compact. On the back, it's got a few little details about the device as well. On the side, it does say what it is. Again, a lot of branding. We do get this random image thing and here is the device itself. Manual at the bottom, which we won't really need right now. And let's slide this out. And as you guys can see, how compact this actually is. So I wanna compare this to my 16 inch MacBook Pro one. I will get that out. But um, as you guys can see, two USB-C ports, USB-A as well. The only thing it does have is an American uh, socket, which again, for us in Australia, it doesn't really help us, but it's not the end of the world if you're getting something like this. Just to compare, this is my 16 inch MacBook Pro one. It is so much, yeah, it, it is so much more compact than that. As you guys can see, tiny. It is it is really, really small. The Apple one is 140 watts as well, and so is this one. And as you guys can see, the size difference is actually crazy. One with USB-C and one with two USB-Cs and a USB-A as well. So really, really awesome to have this. I can't wait to check it out and put it to the test. Just reading some of these details here, 140 watt max each port as well. So again, I'm gonna put that to the test and check it out. If you guys haven't seen my unboxing of the Aohi 140 watt portable charger, 40,000 milliamp portable charger, should I say, check that out. But this is gonna go really, really lovely with that charger. Uh, go hand in hand and um, I'll be able to charge that up with this and get massive speeds. Again, while charging my MacBook if I need to and an iPad or a phone, whatever else I wanna charge, this will do it all. So very, very awesome. I can't wait to put this to the test, check it out. And um, yeah, see what we come back with. It's a matte texture design in yellow, so you can't really lose it. Like it's very visible, it's not going anywhere. Black here on the sides, but um, really robust. Just it's, a, it's a, not too heavy, it's about 360 grams but you can tell it's built solidly. So yeah, big thumbs up so far. And um, I'll put it to the test and I'll come back to you guys once I'm finished. Alrighty guys, I have spent a few days now with the MagCube from Aohi, the 140 watt uh, fast charger. You guys saw my unboxing and now this is just my, I guess my final thoughts and reviews on this or on me using the last this in the last few days. One thing I failed to mention, I did the same thing in the portable charger is all these ports, so not including the USB-A are 140. So the two USB-Cs do output in 140 watts. Now all three ports together combined don't do 140 at every, each individual time obviously. The USB-A does 22 and a half and then um, individually, they do 140, but if you have two things plugged in together, the USB-Cs do 60 each, if that makes sense. Apparently, that's what it does. If I'm charging my laptop, they do do 65 watts per port together, if that makes sense. And if there's only one laptop charging, it's 140 watts for the USB-Cs. Um, but when the USB-A is connected, that does, does take 22.5 watts of power as well. So as an example, I'll put some diagrams on screen here. It says if you can use one USB-C, it's 100 watt, and a USB-A, it's another 22.5 watts. I don't know. Anyway, the two USB-Cs do 140 watts, uh, but not simultaneously together. Um, and the USB-A does 22 and a half watts. I'm glad I cleared that up. So if you are charging three devices at once, it says here in the little description diagram thing, I'll put it on the screen here so you guys can see it. Um, it will distribute 105 watts of power to the USB-Cs and then 22.5 watts straight to the USB-A as well. So... Keep that in mind. There's a distribution going on throughout. I don't know. It's a smart wall charger. There's a lot of details about it and all how smart it is. And from my experience, it is pretty smart. There's also a light on the top here. I don't know if I spoke about that in the unboxing, but there is three different colors and it's the same with the cable. Um, as you guys can see, I got the cable here that um, they have sent me as well. And there is a light on there as well. Now, what it means is there's three charging modes, I guess, with the light that it indicates what stage of charging it's in. When it is in blue, it's just standard charging mode. When it is flashing, I think green it says, um, it means it's trickle charging. Um, and then the flashing or uh, pulsing amber yellow light means it is fast charging. So when you are charging your iPhone or your MacBook Pro, so to speak, it normally does go straight to the yellow because it is fast charging. And as it approaches like 80%, 80 to 100, it does go down to trickle charging to save the life of the battery. So very smart charger. And honestly, it is very compact. 
The only thing I have, like I said, in my unboxing the gripe is the American plug. I wish, for whatever reason, they had an Australian plug. Um, I know you can get the adapter to it, and they do offer that in the shipping. You can actually get an Australian adapter from USA to Australia. But you're never going to get that same compact design with the Australian adapter because obviously it's going to extend out and it's just never going to be the exact same. But if you are in the US, this is a very, 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 very nice uh, wall charger. Even if you're the rest of the world, if you want to use an adapter and you don't mind, then it is great. But if you do don't want to use the adapter because of the inconvenience, I do understand. And that's the only kind of gripe I would have about this charger. Out here do also offer these cables that I did show in the unboxing, I believe, of the portable charger, the Starship one. I'll leave the link on the screen here. Click it. Check it out. It's an awesome 140 watt portable charger with 40,000 milliamp hours as well. Great portable charger. And it does go hand in hand with this. I've been charging that portable charger, which is actually next to me here with this charger and it is ridiculously fast and how quick it actually charges this up i reckon within three hours if that this charger has charged this up maybe even less it, it is ridiculous how fast it charges with a normal portable charger that doesn't accept 140 watt it takes sometimes up to 10 hours plus to charge the portable charger up but with this and with the portable charger that accepts the 140 watt it is ridiculously fast so great combo to have they've also done a test with this charger and a MacBook Pro 16 inch, which is what I have right in front of me, charging from zero to 56% in 30 minutes. So that's how quick this charger is and how quick it can charge up your device. So very, very, very fast. Highly recommend checking it out. If you are interested, check it out. Links in the description down below. Thank you to Aohi for sending these out. And they haven't paid me to say anything about this product. Literally just gave this to me to check out and to show you guys what they offer. And um, so far, so good. Can recommend them. So thank you so much and stay tuned for another video coming soon.